hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel <clears throat> my name is Adima Labadmos and um, this time around we'll start the BDD process so we would introduce ourselves to behavior driven development I uh, would save us the headache of trying to explain what the BDD development is all about but I would um, just talk about it briefly and the advantages it brings I will start from the advantages that I have experienced with BDD. It allows multiple reuse of steps. So which means you will be writing lesser lines of code and it allows you to create a very inclusive test case such that non-technical people can see your test script and understand it because there will be an English written part of it that would define each step taken and how it was taken. So during the course of this video, I will also introduce to you different ways you can structure your code. It just boils down to your understanding of how you want your script to look like. So our test site for this would be um, <clears throat> source demo by Swag Labs. That's what we're going to do. And we are going to create Along the line, we are going to create a BDD script for logging in as a standard user, for logging in as a locked out user, for logging in as a problem user, and as well as logging in as a performance glitch user. We are going to do this during the course of the video. We are going to do this in different ways. We are going to do this using four different feature files, and we are going to do this using a single feature file and four different scenarios. And we are also going to do it using a single feature file, one scenario, and we have a scenario outline. So welcome once again to the course. And if you find this helpful, please do not forget to subscribe and like the videos. Um, so let's get started now. One of the things that we are going to do here is, as you all know, Cypress 10 is out. So we are not going to use Cypress 10 for this. Why we are not going to use Cypress 10 for this, you would know as long uh, as we start. But um, let me quickly say one of the reasons we will not use Cypress 10. Why we won't use Cypress 10 is because um, this is an older version of the Cucumber. The Cucumber, pre uh, the Cucumber preprocessor, which is needed for BDD. In Java, if you're familiar with Java, you'll be using Cucumber in java in python you use behave but in uh, cypress you use cypress cucumber if you are using the older version of cypress as you can see the it's this one has not been updated in a very long time because the ownership the brain family has been given to bait ball so if i search for cypress pre cucumber preprocessor here you will see a new one bait ball and um, this awesome guy from norway has um taken over and um i guess you would see something here about it the repositor has recently moved from the brain family to bid ball read more about the transfer of ownership here so it's the one doing it and um there is a latest version that works with cypress 10 actually but because i have never worked with it i have not tested it so i would not want to double into what has that i'm not certain of so we are going to start with the um previous versions of Cypress and uh, we are going to use the Cypress pre, uh, Cucumber preprocessor. In our previous videos, we have talked about how to use uh, Cypress, few commands, how to use the native folders to create um, your codes. And I did explain why it is better to use the native folders because when the web app pre preprocessor or the browser refi preprocessor, when they are resolving the files, they look into the native files first, particularly the support folder. They check what is in, in the index.js and they run the native folders first. So which means even if you create extra folders by yourself and you um, create your own object classes, it will take, um, though it's not a long time, but it will take split seconds to uh, resolve by the web pack processor and work the dependencies to be able to run your code. But um, the faster we can work, the better. Wouldn't you agree? So we are going to use the 
we are going um in addition to what we've learned before we are going to add cypress cucumber preprocessor into it so in the next video we will start with the installation of cypress an older version of cypress we are going to install cypress cucumber preprocessor and we are also going to install the cypress fill command to extend the command.js file thank you once again for coming and um, thank you once again for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye bye